Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today, I thought I would just do a classic get ready with me. Today, I am just popping in, just going into the office today. But there's something I wanted to try with my hair, a particular curling technique that I just keep seeing on Instagram. And uh, I've tried it before. I wanna try it again, cause um, we'll just see, we'll just see. Let's just get stuck in. So with my skincare, because I use skin on me, skin and me, skin and me on the regs, which is a skincare product, which is basically got all of your needs, wants and needs in one tube. I use that at nighttime. The only thing that I really use in the daytime is moisturizer and SPF. So moisturizer of choice at the moment is Tatcha, Tatcha, um, the silk cream. Comes with a nice little spoon for the top to apply it, but I'd rather just use my fingers because it's only me using it. So I'm just gonna pop that on all over. I'm looking a little bit pale today. My tan is probably on its last day on my hands. You could sort of like, my um, arm sort of uh, a little bit tiger bready. Actually, it's not too tiger bready. The tan that I use, which is actually, uh, oh, I need to get another bottle, is um, Hy Tan Lux Hydramuse. Hydramuse. Fuck, I can't, there's not enough in there for another tan, so I better get on Look Fantastic or whatever it is I use to buy some more. It's um, clear, which is scary, but it's the best way to describe it is it's quite luby. So it goes on really well. You can just feel where it is on your skin so you don't miss any. Well, at least try not to miss any. So I do rate that and it, it comes out really nice and even most of the time. And <laughs> uh, I really like the look of it and it lasts a good, a good week and doesn't go patchy too much. Only obviously in the areas that you'd expect, like around the hands, the wrists and the feet. Um, but everywhere else, it's pretty rad. So I put my moisturizer on, I let that sink in. Um, a little bit spotty, hormonal spots at the moment. And look at my sexy blood blister. No idea how I got that. <laughs> it just appeared. <laughs> got in the car one morning and was like, I'm injured. <sighs> so we'll see. So I just let that sink into the skin. No, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it, don't touch it. For my base, um, I have been using, I use, it's nearly out as well, Christ, it's gonna be an expensive shop later, um, the IT Cosmetics CC New Glow SPF 40, so it's got built-in SPF in light, but I don't think it's that light, to be honest, so when I'm, t when I'm properly tanned, it works. I mean, I'm gonna make it work, because there's still a bit of pigment on my skin, I can see it, I can see, I'm so fucking pale. I'm like grey, but I can still see a bit of warmth to my skin here. So um, this is gonna be fine. For the face. <laughs> pop it on with my brush, my It Cosmetics brush, and then I just plop it all over. And it is kind of the perfect colour for like in between, like for tanning, in between tanning. I think it does the job pretty well. I also don't really like a really heavy base so this is kind of perfect for me because it just delivers coverage but it's not too heavy so I really really love it. So I'm gonna do the eyes because no doubt I'm gonna need a little bit of tidying up of the eye makeup. So Vive have released these lovely little quads. This is like a go-to for me because of the neutral colours that are in it. Um, so I'm gonna start with the base colour which I'll do, which I'll do all over the lid, which is this little lovely light colour here. Put it on the whole eyelid, blending it in. And this is like my everyday makeup at the moment. Leg saw, so good. It doesn't look that much different, but it adds a nice powdery base there. And then I'm just gonna go in the crease with this quite, it's quite an orangey brown. I've got quite a hooded lid, so I like to just go in with I like to go in with a darker colour in the in the crease just to give it a bit of definition. Focusing sort of in the corner here. It looks quite dark there, so I'm gonna blend that out and then sweep it underneath. As you can see, I'm already already making a bit of a mess, but you know me. In the corner here, and then same on the other eye. I always sort of do circle motions at, at first and then drag it across like so. Got a bit of blending and then applying of the actual colour. Look, deuce. I always think of Sebastian. 
from, like, from the little mermaid when you go to bug your lips like this. Is that Sebastian that says that? Just gonna buff that out a wee bit just to kind of take down some of the intensity of that colour. And the corners. Oh, the pigeon out there. Hey, Pidge, how you doing, mate? I always like to go a bit warmer with my colours on my eyes just because I think it makes my blue eyes stand out a bit more. I mean, the hair has helped that considerably, but a little bit of warmth. I'm then gonna take the darker colour, which is this one. Do, 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 do. And we're going to go in on the bottom, lash line, and just kind of work it into a bit of a wing. Up there, oh shit. I am a big fan of like the reverse liner look. Um, but just because oh, all these years of doing cat eyes, I just kind of realized that because I didn't realize I had a hooded lid until someone told me. So I think that for me, the reverse sort of liner where it's a bit more heavy on the bottom just, just, just works better. They're not going to be even because they never bloody are. Blend in the top bit, make that a bit more smoky. It's windy today and I'm really nervous about getting um, leaky eye, it's the worst. <laughs> Happened to me the other day. One eye though, one eye went leaky. It's just annoying, it's just so fucking annoying because you just can't help it, can you? Because it starts and it's just flowing like the Niagara Falls. I think the beauty of using like, that's cheating, using eyeshadow first, because um, you can clean it up a bit you can also kind of change the direction of where you've put your flick, if that makes any sense. So if it's gone a bit too sideways, you can use a beauty blender just to carve it back up again and then just deal with the mess afterwards. Like how I treat my life. <laughs> deal with it later. I'm gonna just take a brown liquid eyeliner. I have become, it's like the new thing. I was always like trooper, KVD, black, black as black. And, but now I'm, I've opted for brown. It's a little, little bit more subtle, a little bit more subtle. Um, but I'm gonna start at the bottom here and follow that up like that, just a little bit, join them together, but concentrating on the bottom lash lid rather than the top lash lid, is that right? And just doing it like so. Lovely, because the eyeshadow is kind of just like dictated where the placement should be. So I'm just gonna follow that around. Again on this side, it's gonna go wrong. Is it gonna go wrong? <gasps> it's not gonna go wrong. I always find whenever I start filming makeup, it just goes wrong. I think it's the pressure, the added pressure of knowing that I've got to look professional. <gasps> oh. I still love doing makeup videos and hair videos. I do think that over the years of me doing this, the landscape has definitely changed. And this is not in a not in a snarky kind of way, but I think that, you know, when YouTube and sort of, I hate the word, but influencing started, it was just regular people doing regular things. And now I think that it's very, you've got to be really good at everything or the good at your skill to be taken seriously, perhaps. Maybe that's just my own perception of it. But I think that, yeah, like makeup people are really fucking great at makeup and hair people are really fucking great at hair. And um, I don't know, sometimes I feel a little bit inadequate like, what am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I doing makeup? Because I'm not a professional. I'm just a, a regular kind of girl just who enjoys makeup and always has. I got obviously knowledge and I enjoy it, but sometimes I'm like, oh, but it could be better or I'm not as good as this person. But you know what? I think if you enjoy something, just fucking crack on, man. Don't let anyone stop you. Right, so before I do any more, I am just gonna clean up the under eye. So this is a new product from Urban Decay and I absolutely love it. So it's a quickie stick, it's called. And basically what it is, is it's concealer, but um, it's brilliant for if you're having those like no makeup makeup days where you just want to cover any imperfections or any like blemishes on the face and just put it where you need it for a bit of coverage, very light coverage. And um, it comes with its own buffer on the top so you can just buff it in. So with this, I am just going to put it on the under eye like so, on the end of the nose. My nose is very red. And just in the bits where I just kind of want it. It's a bit light, this one actually. So it's not the best color match, but it's okay. We'll, we'll trust the process. It's just a bit tricky on the kind of more smaller spaces, like this bit under the eye. It cleans it up a wee bit. I'm already sensing the leaky eye happening, so 
let's hope that we get through this. Lovely. Now I don't need to do my brows because my brows have been tinted recently and as you can see they're very much there. I'm going to do mascara last because mascara scares me and I make a mess so I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer for some contour and some warmth just to bring this paleness down a little bit. So just under the chin and then sweeping it up the face. And on this side, I'm all for like overdoing it with bronze and blush. Just love that look. <laughs> I just like it. There are no rules of makeup, man. Just do what you like. It's not harming anyone. So just go with it. First of all, t I'm gonna make sure that there are no eye bogies in my eye because this is the bane of my life and I'm trying to do the corners of my tear ducts I catch onto an eye bogey and it just messes everything up. So let's just make, let's just empty the eye of eye bogeys first. Even when you wash your face, they're just hiding in there. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna take my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna get my eyeshadow in the darker color. I'm just gonna create a little bit of a, I prefer to do it a shadow than liner because it's a bit more subtle. Not a massive, huge, difference. Well, just do that. Now I'm just going to take some Huda Beauty translucent powder. I'm just going to take it and I'll just pop it on the under eye here, just so there's no creasing or nothing. And it just keeps it all locked in. Now I'll finish up with my mascara, which is Go Big or Go Home by KVD. Ooh. I've had my eyelashes LVL'd and tinted, so they're particularly curled at the moment, which is quite nice. Yay. Oh, and the last, the last, last step. No, the second to last, the third to last step. <laughs> uh, where is that? Take some Vive blush, and I just put a blob there, and a blob there, and then boop, 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 we just pat it in. I always do that last because the translucent powder, I just fear kind of mattifies it, and I want it to look a bit glowy. So it kind of acts as like a highlighter as well. It just, it nicely blends in. So it just gives your cheeks a little bit more boop and a little bit of, you know, glow. So lippy of choice at the moment is the NYX Lingerie XXL. And this is the shade Turn On, Turn On. And I love this stuff because it's very velvety. It lasts real, really good, unless you're like eating something. Or like, you know, you're playing silly buggers, you're snogging someone or, you know, you go and have, you just need to reapply in the corner. I think it is a lovely shade and it goes on so smooth. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not drying and I do love that colour. Lovely! So I've got my curler, this is the tea free wand. I thought I had the GHD version but I didn't. And um, it's a one. That one has different attachments. So I'm going to be trying something. But first things first. I am going to be taking my Heat Defence, which is the GHD Bodyguard. And I'm going to pop it all over. I had to bleach my hair to get it this light. So I do get a bit nervy when putting heat on it because I don't want to fuck my hair. Give it a little brush through. I am going to separate it down the middle. Nearly hair wash day. My scalp is a bit dry and flaky, but we will press on with this. Can't be all perfect, can we now? So, the idea is to grab a bit of hair. <gasps> Fuck! Don't know what hand to use. From what I've seen, you grab a bit of hair. Yep. Oh no, grab from the bottom. Oh, my layers. You... Ah, crap. Well, let's just ignore that one, because that's the back and it doesn't count. Maybe I need to watch the tutorial again, or the video again. It was Samantha Quizzic. Samantha. If I watch the, the technique, I reckon I could. Ah, curling tong versus. Okay. Ah, she twists. She just keeps twisting. Ah, right, okay. She tried it like that. Twist it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Like that. And then down a bit more. Hold it. Twist it. Right. Down, twist it. This is a technique that Tom, I swear, does when he used to do my hair in London. And he used to love the curls when I'd come out of there. Okay, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna twist it. Oh, fuck off. Right. And then, ah, crap. And then we're gonna 
lower it down here, twist it again, and then I'm gonna low, lower it and twist it again. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. I think I've now got the fucking hang of it as I've got right to the end. So clamp it in the middle, twist like that, lower and unwrap unwrap it nope this bit's a bit little mm. I'm just gonna do that normally okay not too bad not too bad now for the bit that I feel adequate in which is the Dyson air wrap so I get my fringe and then throw out that bit Gives a bit of volume. There we go. I'll put the link for the actual tutorial down so you can see it while I was watching. Get yeah, a wide tooth comb, brush it through. Oh, it does make some nice waves. I am, I'm determined to uh, master this. Okay, for my first attempt, or tried, try after watching that new tutorial, I don't think that this looks too bad. Some Odaplex oil, a few drops. Need to get some more of that as well. My Look Fantastic bill is racking up. Put it through. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Now let's get dressed. Today, I'm gonna to be wearing my Levi rib cage, white t-shirt that I got from Monkey, a belt like that. Da -da. Then to liven things up a bit, add my jewels. So I've got this lovely necklace, which is from All Saints, and it's a multi-load. A lovely multi layer a lovely multi-layered chain, which I always get tangled. Ah! But it's just just does the job. Just quick. Just there. It's right there. Got my gypsy silver little long doodle, which I'll put on. Just adds a bit of something, doesn't it? Just adds a bit of something. I'm gonna put in some hoops, like so. And then perfume of choice today. I'm gonna go with Santel 33 from Le Labo. Funny little story. So I went on a date with this guy and I was like, because I like to smell people, I'm a bit weird like that. I was just like, what are you wearing? Te Noir? I went, Le Labo, Te Noir. <laughs> that sounds so pretentious. Le Labo, Te Noir. And he said, yeah. And I was like, I have that. That's why I know that smell. That's why I recognized it. And I just was just like, oh, now <laughs> when I go back to that perfume, it's gonna remind me of that date. Sunglasses on, well, I'll put them on here. But that is me done, like my everyday look, everyone. I'll probably just wear it with, I don't know what coat, because it it's been a bit on and off rainy, so I might even just wear a really practical coat or just chuck on a jacket or something, because it's, it's not that cold. Oh, and I'll probably wear just some Converse on my feet or my black canoe balance. But this is it, this is me done for the day. Um, I hope you like this sort of classic YouTube vid. Classic, get ready with me. Yeah, I'm gonna practice this fucking hair. Thanks for watching everyone. I shall see you soon. Farewell!